How to fix Samsung Galaxy S7 that stuck on logo after the Nugget update. Problem. Shortly after I updated my Samsung Galaxy S7 to Nugget, I encountered a problem that rendered my phone useless as it got stuck on the logo and won't move on while booting up. I don't know if it's the update that caused it let alone know how to fix the problem. Step 1. Reboot in recovery mode and wipe cache partition. Considering the fact that the problem started after a huge firmware update, there's a chance that the cause of the problem is corrupt caches or those that became obsolete. So the first thing I need you to do is to wipe the cache partition so that all caches will be replaced with new ones. Here's how you do it. Turn off the device. Press and hold the volume up key and the home key, then press and hold the power key. When the device logo screen displays, release only the power key. When the Android logo displays, release all keys. Installing system update will show for about 30-60 seconds before showing the Android system recovery menu options. Press the volume down key several times key to highlight white data forward slash factory reset. Press the power key to select. Press the volume down key to highlight yes and press the power key to select. When the white cache partition is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. If wiping the cache partition didn't fix the problem, then you have to move on to the next step. Step 2. Back up your files and data and reset your phone. Apparently, the problem is caused by the recent update and you've already tried wiping the cache partition to no avail. So, it's time to reset the phone to bring it back to its factory default settings with the nugget still on. However, all your files and data will be lost during the reset so be sure to make a backup. After backing up your files and data, disable the factory reset protection so you won't be locked out. How to disable factory reset protection. From any home screen, tap the apps icon. Tap settings. Tap cloud and accounts. Tap accounts. Tap Google. Tap your Google ID email address. If you have multiple accounts set up, you will need to repeat these steps for each account. Tap menu. Tap remove account. Tap remove account. How to reset your Galaxy S8. Turn off the device. Press and hold the volume up key and the home key, then press and hold the power key. When the device logo screen displays, release only the power key. When the Android logo displays, release all keys. Installing system update will show for about 30-60 seconds before showing the Android system recovery menu options. Press the volume down key several times key to highlight white data forward slash factory reset. Press power button to select. Press the volume down key until yes, delete all user data is highlighted. Press power button to select and start the master reset. When the master reset is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. Or, you can reset your phone from the settings menu. From any home screen, tap the apps icon. Tap settings. Tap cloud and accounts. Tap backup and restore. If desired. Tap back up my data to move the slider to on or off. If desired, tap restore to move the slider to on or off. Tap the back key twice to return to the settings menu, then tap general management. Tap reset. Tap factory data reset. Tap reset device. If you have screen lock turned on, enter your PIN or password. Tap continue. Tap delete all. I hope this troubleshooting guide can help you bring your phone back to life because if not, then you must bring your phone to the shop as the firmware may need to be reinstalled.